All right, let's do a quick example. Uh, we've got perfect competition market. Uh, you should know what that means. Lots of definitions out there. Um, I want to calculate how big the profit is in uh, in this case for this firm. So we draw the side-by-side -side graphs uh, already done here for us. This is the industry, so that's all the firms together. This is the price-taking firm. So you'll notice they have a marginal cost curve. They have uh, a price which is marginal revenue because all the products are the same. So the price in this case is going to be $5. That comes from the market, but the firm's got to take the price. And then when the firm produces that many units, okay, we go down here and it's, so it's 50 units that the firm's going to produce. And the reason that is, is because the profit maximizing situation is we're always going to produce up until marginal cost equals marginal revenue. And so that happens at 50. Uh, and since average total costs are below uh, marginal revenue, which is also the same as average revenue, um, then this firm's going to be making a profit. And so we see this here, but we want to know how big the profit is. So this is zero. So it's really just calculating this big uh, rectangle here. Okay, and the reason is, is because to produce 50 units, it's an average of, we'll call that about 350. So we'll say average total cost. Uh, at 50 is three dollars and fifty cents okay so uh, a couple ways you can do it you can um, multiply so you can get the whole the whole box of the revenue and then subtract the average total cost or um, you can just calculate this this rectangle here and you don't have to do any subtracting so it's uh, from 350 so that's so this right here is a dollar fifty Okay, to go from uh, 350 up to five. Okay, that's a dollar fifty times how many units? So that's like the profit per per unit. And so let's uh, calculator here. Okay, so we get seventy five. Seventy five dollars is going to be the profit. Okay, now uh, thing to remember here is let's this this is the industry so let's say that something happens in the industry and and this um, this product is um, is no longer as popular right so the this is shifted the demand curve in okay and they've calculated it to that and now there's a new equilibrium price of we'll say 375 so 375 so this is going to affect the individual firm. Ooh, that's not a little bit crooked there. The individual firm now can no longer charge five dollars, so they'll go out of business. So now they're going to charge three seventy-five. This is going to lower their profit. And if you can just think about it, it's going to lower their profit before you even do the math. Um, but and then they're not going to produce as many units because if you look down here. Uh, the place where marginal cost equals marginal revenue is now at 45. So now they're only going to um, produce. So their costs are 350, and now their profit is just going to be this spot right here. So it's 25 cents per unit times 45, and we'll get. eleven dollars and twenty five cents so this is a pretty extreme example for this firm right profits went from seventy five dollars and whatever the time period is now down to eleven twenty five just by this demand uh, change and you can also do you know if the supply in the market increases or decreases um, you can just kind of quiz yourself if the supply decreases if the demand were to increase and go out to here you get lots of different things you can just kind of do the math with your numbers there.